have an uncle who's really brilliant. He is ace. I really like him. But I don't get to see him very often because he lives on an island called the Isle of Mull in Scotland, which is a long way away from where I live. My uncle makes shirts for people, but he doesn't sew them together in the normal way with material and thread. He has a special shirt machine that he invented. My uncle used all sorts of things to make the shirt machine. Some were washed up on the island by the sea, some he found in a scrapyard on the other side of the island, and some he was given by neighbours, and some special modern technical bits he had to send off for. Gradually, over about ten years, he collected all the bits together in an old barn next to his house and slowly fitted them together. There were pipes, taps, valves, funnels, transistors, wires, switches, pistons, gauges, cogs, wheels, levers, spinning bits, sliding bits, squashing bits and pulling bits, all glued, screwed, nailed and slotted together to make the shirt machine. Now, when he gets an idea for a new sort of shirt that he thinks would suit someone perfectly, he goes into the shirt machine room and first of all pulls the giant power switch down into the on position, chunk. Then he sits down and eats a piece of chocolate. He says that he needs chocolate to help his brain work and he always keeps the bar tucked into his hat band. Then my uncle types in his idea on the keyboard of the computer at the front of the machine and tells it what to do. And when all the information is fed in, he stamps on the big green go button on the floor by his foot. The shirt machine rumbles slightly at first and then it goes Voomparanka chunk, voomparanka chunk, voomparanka chunk, and then to finish it goes zip, 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 bop. It's quite quick, really. It only takes a little while. After all the noises, from a slot in the side of the machine comes the new shirt, neatly wrapped in spotted wrapping paper, all ready to be posted to the person it was made for. My uncle always writes down what sort of shirt each one is what it does and who it was for after he makes one and now he has a huge ledger full of details of all the shirts he's produced. Almost any idea my uncle has had has been turned into an amazing working shirt. The first shirt my uncle made was an edible shirt. This came in very handy for people stuck on delayed trains who would otherwise have missed their tea. Another very popular shirt was the flying shirt Two friends would be able to go out to a park on a Sunday afternoon and take it in turns to fly around while the other held on to them with some string, rather like a human kite. The most famous shirt my uncle made was a musical shirt he made especially for a duke. Whenever the duke went to an important wedding or a posh dinner, he could press a button on the shirt's cuff and a fanfare of trumpets, flutes and drums and cymbals would announce his arrival. He invented an invisible shirt. People who wanted to show off a particularly special or trendy t-shirt but still keep warm in cold weather. And he invented one that changed colour every couple of seconds. There are many very clever shirts that he's made. Some are famous Son earned him quite a lot of money and some won various prizes and were quite acclaimed. So my uncle's shirt machine is one of a kind and very successful and popular and I am proud of him because he invented it all by himself. But although he's made so many fantastic shirts with his machine, none of them is my favourite shirt. My favourite shirt is an old pyjama top he gave me a few years ago. It doesn't play music, fly or do anything special at all and it wasn't made in his shirt machine. It's just a normal pyjama shirt. But it's my favourite because it reminds me of him. Thank mm -hmm. you.
Thank you.